Hi, Bobby. Oh, hi, sir. Good noon. Yeah, it seems like it's uh, just the two of us. Um, so uh, this, uh, this uh, my fellow colleague uh, connect today. So I'll, I'll start the call uh, officially now. So uh, let's share my screen. Uh, well, hello, hello, Bavi, and anyone else uh, tuning into this as a, in a form of recording. It's uh, it's a June first, two thousand twenty-three. Here is BCX community call, and this is our antitrust policy notice. Yep. Uh, well, uh, hopping to our agenda. I think uh, this call is actually going to be pretty short. It's been mostly quiet week. Um, I'll start uh, with a small update about the mentorship program. So well, we are currently stay in a stage of uh, evaluating our applicants uh, and uh, we'll be uh, sending out communications to a successful uh, successful applicants. Um, uh, probably throughout throughout this week, today or tomorrow. Um, so that's that. Um, now, as for the overview of uh, recent work done, uh, as I mentioned before, it was a rather quiet week, but nevertheless, there was very significant uh, significant um, PR merge by Bogdan. Um, implementing Anoncred's uh, interface uh, for using using Credex library. So uh, we are we are a step further uh, in terms of uh, getting rid of VDR tools dependency. Uh, and the only outstanding uh, challenge to really remove that is. Um, to now implement migration for issuers who are previously using VDR tools. Uh, so they would uh, be able to switch to Credix implementation without any, any complications. Um, yeah, so that's uh, something that's uh, currently in progress and one of the most, most significant uh, pieces of work uh, to be done. Uh, talking about stuff which is in progress, uh, I think I'm missing here a point in the agenda. So it should be um, progress. Uh, so we have uh, Credex migration, uh, Credex, oh, wait, it's actually the other way around. Okay, upcoming work that's probably empty today. I'll leave it like this. So yeah, uh, we have in progress the VDR tools uh, to Credex wallet migration for issuers. And uh, in addition to that, also, also another big epic kind of uh, work uh, in progress by Mira, uh, which is migrating uh, the usage of uh, did doc create. Uh, we're currently using kind of a legacy, very simple implementation um, from, from past and uh, trying to migrate that to uh, the recently added, uh, much more robust and W3C compliant uh, DDoC uh, implementation. Uh, so this is in progress. There's a number of challenges um, which uh, came up um, in progress, which are laid out here. So we'll be we'll looking out looking out at this and try to <clears throat> try to drive this to completion. As soon as possible, it, it seems like a big kind of a, a big kind of PR changing files all over the place. So 
um yeah it would be good to get this merged uh rather sooner than later to avoid conflicts with uh, some other other prs possibly coming in um that's pretty much uh what's our upcoming work is at the same time these two these two pieces are are the main main themes for the next week or two i believe um yeah and pretty much our priorities so um there's no changes around here just uh get these two things done and then continue breaking down Aries VCX core into smaller pieces uh continue with the modular like usage of the modular libraries and once we have these two sorry uh, once we have these two uh, you can see three items off the table. Uh, I think we can move on to the con con we can resume the work around type set pattern for holder and issuer. Uh, and then with that, we'll be also coming hand in hand uh, along uh, new, so let's call it a new, new, new generation of uh, end to end and integration tests. So that kind of brings us to the end of uh, meeting and free discussion. Um, there's no other updates, official updates uh, from me. Uh, and we have, uh, we have, uh, yeah, so far just Bobby on the call today. So uh, there's a space to ask any, any question you might have in mind or anything you would like to discuss. Bobby, do you have any any points to of discussion? Uh, not not right now. So, all right. Well, in that case, uh, thanks for joining me and uh, making me company on this call. So it's not just a podcast, but I have a live audience. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, thanks for tuning in on YouTube. If you are listening on YouTube, um, and. Um, I'll talk to you next week again. Uh, thanks for joining, Bobby. Yep. Th thanks for having me, sir. Cheers.